Hello everyone, I wanted to uh, give a quick tutorial on how to use MC Edit. And uh, since I'm making a tutorial for this uh, piston hallway here, I thought I would show you how I'm going to duplicate it. Basically when you're in MC Edit, your basic controls are W, A, S, and D. That's how you move left, right, forward, and back. Uh, if you want to fly up and down, you push Z for down, Q for up, and if you want to rotate your screen, you can right click, which will keep you in place, and you can just turn around. Uh, if you left click, what you're doing is you're using your selection tool. So if I left click this corner block, I can select there and select any size area I would like. So for instance, I wanted to select this right here. I could select like that, but I also want to select that base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to our nudge buttons, and I want to control this yellow box. So I'm going to hold left click on the nudge button and then push Q until it engulfs the whole base. And you could also use your A, D, S, and W buttons to tweak it to any size or shape you wanted. Well, not any shape. Obviously, it has to be a rectangular type shape, but to select the area you'd want. Uh, you can also do that with your blue selection cursor. So, I've got everything I want to select there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push Control, and that'll pull up a menu. And I want to do Control C for copy. And then you've got a duplicate right here. And it tells you how big it is. It's 16 by 23 by 12. So I can come here and paste it, say, right there. So I didn't line it up perfectly. Uh, so what you can do is come over to the green nudge button. And this actually moves any of the objects you have selected. So if I hold left click on it and push the D button, it'll shift the whole selection any way I want. Up, down, whatever. So I'm going to fly down here a bit, make sure I have it lined up, uh, make sure I'm right on the Z height, good, one block above the dirt, Then I'm just going to bring it over like, I don't know, 10 blocks or so, just so it's a good distance away from that one. So I have plenty of room. Then I'm going to hit the import button, and then control D for deselect. Uh, then you push control S for save. And when I log out of this, this will be in my Minecraft world. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.